Hello everyone, welcome back to Rev Explorers. I'm Abhinav Bhatnagar and today we have with us the all new Pulsar N250. Well, technically, this is not a new motorcycle because of two reasons. First, N250 was the first motorcycle that launched this new engine lineup. And second, we are already seeing the N150 and the N160 on the road, which has the same body design and language. So this is the 2024 version of the N250. You get the same body design language because it has the same projector by functional LED headlight LED DRL and LED turn indicators. However, there are updates that Bajaj has done to this motorcycle. Because now in the front you get 37mm upside down forks and at the rear is a 7 step adjustable monoshock. The alloy wheels are still 17 inch black coated but now the tires are fatter. 110 by 70 section in the front, 140 by 70 section in the rear. With fatter tires come fatter brakes. Not true. The brakes are still the same. 300mm in the front, 230mm in the rear. However, it is petal disc brake now with Gremica calipers. You get dual channel ABS, which was also available in the 2022 edition. But now you have ABS mode, which we'll show you later when we come to the instrument cluster. For now, you should know that this motorcycle is available in three colors, red, white and black. Black being all black. This has a 14 liter fuel tank and is powered by the same 250cc engine, which generates a maximum power of 24.5 PS at 8750 rpm and delivers a peak torque of 21.5 newton meters at 6500 rpm now this motor is two valve oil cooled and comes mated with a five speed gearbox and you do get slipper clutch which makes it a direct rival to the apache rtr 200 we'll come to that part also in the later half of the video guess the ground clearance because it is 165 mm flat which is decent enough for Indian roads and off-roads and wherever you take it. The motorcycle is 164 kg, uh, which is decent because it's a 250cc motorcycle and it gets a side hung. Single barrel exhaust, which is very small, but has twin exit. Let's check out how it sounds. This is what bass sounds like. Better than the N160, almost equivalent to the Domina 400. Controversies in the comment section below. At the rear end, you have the same LED tail light with LED turn indicators. The saddle is wide enough. It's a split step up seat and the saddle height is 800 mm. I can easily get both of my feet on the ground. If you are 5'5 and above, you can easily ride this motorcycle. For your reference, my height is 5'9. And now let's check out the not so new instrument cluster. So this is the same negative backlit instrument cluster that you see on the NS160 and the NS200. It has the Bluetooth facility, you can see it's blinking over here. This is the Bluetooth name and it gets the connected features like the call notification, SMS notification, turn by turn navigation, so everything comes over here. With that, you have digital tachometer time, digital speedometer, trip meter, average fuel efficiency and so on and so forth. It also has the gear position indicator and the tail ready lights. Now, it does not get the smart LED that is available on the NS series. The one thing that is different on this motorcycle are the ride modes. So if you see over here, these are the ride modes. Now it's on rain, then it can go into off-road and road. So there are three ABS ride modes. It also has the USB charger, just like the N150 and the N160. Now coming to the handlebar. Well, it's a wide handlebar. On the right hand side, you have the kill switch, the DRL control switch. So you can switch between DRL and the headlight. With that, you have the self-start switch on the left-hand side. Now, because of the screen, you have the mode switch over here. And that means the headlight controls have been migrated into the pass switch. With that, you have the turn indicator controls and the horn. The horn is single tone. The mirrors are wide, good, just like the N150 and the N160. I like these mirrors. I have installed it on my NS200 because they are very practical for the city use as well as the highway use. With that said, our walk around review has come to an end. And this is a direct rival to RTR 200 because it is priced at 1.5 lakhs, generates more power, has more features to offer 
and I feel it looks better than the RTR 200 but that's totally my perception. You can let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. We'll come back with the ride review of the N250. Till then, stay tuned to our channel and for that you have to do two things. Subscribe to us and after that ring that bell so you are never missing out any notification. We are also on Instagram so you can connect with us over there as well and if you don't want to connect just follow us there. The handle will be right over here. See you soon. Till then, bye bye.